Hey everybody, as promised, it's time for another plan with me video. Um, I thought I would kind of show you actually how I cut these since I haven't yet. Um, this is, eh, I will link the insert below. Uh, I forget which one it is, but it's from Penis Planner. I, I don't remember what the number is, but it's called like monthly overview with fold out, something like that. Um, it comes with like, you print out two, uh, one of each, two of each side. Um, and so then you cut down the middle to separate them. And so this is what you end up with first. And I will show you, I actually, I fold in the, uh, the flap first. So I just kind of stick my thumbnail kind of halfway between these two sections ish. Use that to form the crease. Then I'll line it up along this cut edge here, fold it all the way. So we start with that fold and everything else is measured off of it. Whether I get it right or not, that's fine. Um, I kind of eyeball this cut, well, not really. There is actually a cut marker here, but there's not on the other side. They only have the, the cut guides on page one. And in this case, that's not ideal. Usually page one is on the back. Um, which would be fine actually if you were printing these back to back, but I don't. Um, I usually just do one month at a time. Anyway, I keep this folded over. This paper cutter is a little dull, huh? So I keep it folded over and then I measure, instead of using the cut guides, I measure everything to be four and three quarter inches tall by three and a quarter inches wide, like this. And there we go. Uh, so same for this side here. You can trim off the uh, this edge first or second, either way. But I just find it's handy to fold it first because that way your uh, edges line up nice and flush with the rest of the pages in your planner. There we go. Four and three quarter inches tall. These measurements are slightly uh, larger, I think, than what the actual dimensions are supposed to be. But I've never fussed about that. I just prefer to use inches. It makes it simpler for me. Because my um, paper cutter doesn't have centimeters on it anyway. So there you go. And then you just got to use your punch. This one's from Repesco. I bought it on Amazon. And we're good to go. I'm just going to make sure everything's stuck all the way in. You don't have little bits of paper stuck in there. There we go. Let us begin. I have thought long and hard about this for the last few hours while I was out this evening trying to decide what color to use this month. It's been, yeah, I don't know. I was explaining in last week's video that I, um, I didn't really associate a color with this month, but I needed to pick one anyway. So like the last few months I've done like a color code here. Um, and I was like, oh, I've used most of the colors of the rainbow. I don't, I was thinking orange because I haven't used orange, but I don't really have that much orange uh, stuff like tapes and pens and stuff because it's not a favorite color. Anyway, I thought for fun, I would do a Slytherin theme using a little bit of Harry Potter, Harry Potter washi tape and all of the green and silver that I've got. So I will mention everything as I start using it, but let's begin with the dates for the month. Let's see. This is the Stabilo 0.88 fine liner in the color 53. And June starts on a Saturday. Yes, yes, no, no. I was thinking, actually, no, I was gonna do this in I 
I decided I was going to do this in silver. So this is actually the Uniball Signo in the silver color. And June still starts on a Saturday. Oh dear, I might want to go over these again. It's too late to back out now. Ah! Is it too late to back out now? Uh, what would you guys do? Man, if it was just like one word, I wouldn't fuss. But now suddenly I'm worried. This is the entire premise. This is the entire premise of this spread. All right, let's do the green jelly roll that I've got and see if that'll write over it instead. Let's see. There we go. Will you notice? You'll probably notice the silver underneath. I think this is just going to be a green theme now instead of a Slytherin theme. <laughs> Anyway, I would talk more, but I don't want to mess up the dates. Comment below if you've ever messed up the dates while trying to multitask. Or even while not trying to multitask, it can be tricky. But my only trick is to at very least make sure that the multiples of seven line up. See, as we get here to 28, 21, 14, 7, we're good. And then double and triple check. We're dealing with June, which has 30 days. So there we go. That's fun. It starts with a weekend and ends with a weekend. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out the... Tombow Twin Tone in the color 249. I don't have that many of these, but I'm going to try my hand at a little bit of brush lettering. Man, my hand was just about to start writing the word May, so I caught myself. Let's see. These are tricky for me, but there we go. Does that say June to you? It looks like it kind of says June to me. All right, I think I'm going to leave the J undotted at this point. Comment below if you think I should dot the J, because I think, I think no. All right, let's see. See, the whole plan was to do like a green highlight here and right over it with the silver. Maybe the white's working. And I cannot even tell if the white is working. I think it is. All right, let's give it a shot. There we go. Could be worse, could be better. And these headers too. Ish, 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 ish. All right, all right, all right, all right. So on this side we have tasks. Ooh, now I'm curious. This is why you got scratch paper for testing. Does the jelly roll write opaque? No, it does not. This is why we check. Okay, and for the white, we're going to have to write over it a couple of times. For whatever reason, the silver is not working. I think it may just be drying out. It's a shame. 
we go. Say tasks. I'll write over it a second time after it's dried. Vince. And this is milestones. Which of these is a T and which is an L? And this is goal. This section is supposed to be for like the one thing to get done that month and it has not been working out for me. <laughs> Alright, so I got this washi tape from Night Owl Washi and it's super cute, I think. But since this is a Slytherin theme, ostensibly, I'm only pulling out the little Slytherin characters for this. So let's do a little stripe of green. This particular washi tape was from AliExpress, like wherever, I don't know. I wouldn't say that I recommend it because it like has these patches on there that are not as sticky. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it, but you know, also probably couldn't find it again if I needed to. So it doesn't really matter. It was super cheap and I figured I'd had no solid color washi and I wanted some for use of things and it's handy to have. All right, so we're gonna put this here. So we have our little Draco, light up at the edge. Our little Slytherin characters. Draco has his little 2001 there, and the Dark Lord is, um, yeah, I don't know, trying to tempt him with power. And see, now I don't know if I should at the top put different characters. I think I probably should. <laughs> For some reason, Harry is chopped off here. I think I was just, oh yeah, I was using it for edge, edge stuff. Okay. Yes. Let's, yeah, all right. I'm going to do Hedwig. She's not in a Hogwarts house. She is an animal. And Hagrid was, I don't know. I'm trying to rationalize just because I don't want to put all the Gryffindors here, but I think Hagrid was a Gryffindor. I don't know if that was canon. We must have known at some point, but all the good guys are Gryffindors. Okay, that's looking, that's looking okay, actually. I don't think I want this to be too over the top involved this month. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of tape along like here. Because we're going to be on a trip this weekend. And we may be going on other trips later this month. If we do, I can come back and add the washi later. But I don't know when yet, so I will leave that off. But that's the idea, is to just sort of mark off when we're doing stuff. Um, let's fill in with this. Yeah, no, with this. With the Stabilo that I pulled out originally I'm pulling out the uh, habit tracker. So we have sleep. Which is where I track the quality of the baby's sleep. Not necessarily for any scientific reason, but just because it it's like 
if she sleeps crummy, but then I get to mark it off on a tracker, it like feels somehow more worthwhile. I'm dropping off the vitamins that I used to have on here. Um, yes, we want Instagram, just because I try to remember to post on my personal Instagram as often as possible. Uh, let's see, yes, clean. Journal. <laughs> Read. These last two I barely ever do. And then I can always add more stuff to the tracker if I want to. Um, but I might use the jelly roll to fill out the tracker. Okay. Let's fill in all the tasks from, or in the uh, events from the future log. This one here things here. Oh yes. I was going to highlight possibly. All right, I'm going to use this friction colors pen in, does it have? No, maybe it does. I'm trying to look here and see if there's like an identifying color. Hard to tell, but it's like the jade kind of color, I would say. I would call this jade. All right. And I'm just going to kind of fill in the weekends here. One, two, eight, nine, 15, 16, 22, 30, and 30, 31. What? No, 29.30. There's no 31. In fact, let's put this strip of washi tape along the bottom just to remind me of that as I go through the month looking at this. You don't want to think that you have more time in your year than you actually do. So my May was super busy um, on paper at least. It felt pretty busy. It looked super busy. And June by comparison looks really empty and mild, which I'm kind of looking forward to. It's like all of the things that we have that go on during the school year. Um, like my husband teaches confirmation. We have a Bible study, stuff like that kind of runs during the school year. Um, and that's all wrapping up either this week or next week. And it's just nice to kind of have a little bit of my time back. I'm trying to get um, like a handle on keeping the house tidy and getting that into a schedule where I have more of my evenings free. Um, looking forward to that. But basically what I'm saying is I don't have as much going on here. So, let's see, June, Two things here. Okay. Last Bible study. The last Bible study was supposed to be last month. If you caught me writing that on my calendar last month, but we had to push it back one week. Um, all right, this is my to do items. I have to request my PTO for Comic-Con in July. Uh, let's see. And, okay, yes. So that's it from my future log <laughs> entirely. And then I'll pull out my recurring task list. Looks like this. And just fill in everything else. So we've got to, uh, yes. Pay car insurance. We've got to pay the mortgage. We've got to take 
month photo. Oh my goodness, she's going to be 11 months old. And that means there's only two more month photos to take. Uh, let's see, change razor. I change my razor on the 15th. I have Dollar Shave Club and I set it up to send me enough for one razor change per month because I'm not shaving every single day and that's all I need. And that looks good. All right, that's it. See, I told you this week was, this month was pretty simple. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one here. I'm just gonna toss like an extra tiny bit of washi across the bottom here, I think. And then that'll be it, guys. That's it. I think it looks okay. And I, I'm a little bummed that the silver didn't work out, but it still kind of looks nice. Instead of it just being a color theme, it's like a theme theme, but like understated, I think. So, um, yeah, let me guys, let me know below. Guys, let me know below. Um, I'm curious whether your summers are more busy or less busy than your school years. Because with me, like, we only have the one kid. She's not old enough for, like, summer activities. She's not in school. So it's really just our activities. And we have a couple of them that run year-round during the, the school year. And then for the summer, we're pretty much off and a little bit more free. So things just lighten up and just feel a little bit more liberated. And I am definitely all about that and looking forward to it. So let me know below, it's like if things are busier for you during the summer, do you dread this time of year or do you still enjoy like the weather? Um, it's all it's all interesting to, to hear about that stuff. So I will see you in the comments below and in the video next Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then, okay? Bye.